Well, howdy doody, everybody. Happy, uh, I don't know, is this Saturday? It's the 20, what is today? The 26th, uh, the big day today, because I'm so glad that it's Christmas is coming out uh, today. And I have a, uh, a very special guest who's gonna be joining me here uh, shortly. If you see Jessica, uh, let let me know uh, so I can bring her, so I can bring her on. So today is, I'm in Montreal and I'm shooting a thing here. Uh, I'm shooting, um, it's, they've changed the name. It's a Jaguar movie I'm shooting here in Montreal. It's, uh, now it's called Jaguar, my love. There's Tegan. Hey, Tegan, we're gonna bring you on uh, in a bit here once, uh, wait. Yeah, Jess made me early. Am I ever early? There's no tech. All I need to do is just set up and push play and Bob's your uncle, unless your uncle is Bob. I think somebody actually got offended once when I said Bob's your uncle. I'm like, why are you offended that Bob, is it just me or is it, is everyone offended like at all the time about everything? It's sort of the best time to be alive ever, right? I'm just gonna turn on a light back here. Great hair, thanks for it's coastal home. I'm gonna turn on a light. I'm a lighting guy. I like nice lights. I like it to have like a little bit of, you know, je ne sais quoi going on in the background. Call me, call me crazy, but it just, I think it adds, you know? This lamp doesn't add much value. It doesn't even stay up. Look at this lamp. It's like the lamp from Pixar. Oh well, there we go. No, no, yeah, no, it's following. Come on, let's, there we go, okay. Well, has Jess got here yet? We're gonna be doing some trivia. I wanna take your questions also. Um, there's a Q&A box. Thanks, Clearwater. There's a Q&A box. You can put your questions in. Um, shoot. There was, can I get to those questions? There was a couple questions that were DM'd to me, but I can't go out of here or else I'll m miss them. Jingle Bells and Silent Nights has been stuck in your heads for a week, right? Jingle Bells and Silent Nights. Hey, Tegan, how are ya? The lamp is the star. The lamp's terrible. Uh, I got another light over here. Let's see. I must be an old Montreal. Yeah, I am an old Montreal. Let's see. Did there's Jess. Yes. Don't worry about me, Jess. I'm just setting up lights, like so we get some background lights. See, look at that. There's another lamp. Yes. Hello. What? Oh my gosh. Is this is this actually your first? I think it might be. I think this is officially the first. Like, I think I've gone on a couple times when I was at a concert or a show, but this is my first, my first slide. Here, let yeah. me put you, let me put you down over there. Hi, I got, I got mine. Hi, good morning. It is a hard three out of ten. This coffee. It's from the lobby. <laughs> no, it's not. Like uh, that. <laughs> it's not. It's not winning. It's not going to win any awards in for the like yeah. the flavor profile it's it's a bit intense um so how are you yeah i'm doing wonderful how are you happy yeah happy I think you said gloomy i'm like it's actually it's freezing here but it's uh <laughs> so you're gonna be jealous of this. check this out yeah the that's brick wall you try to get in the shot somehow that's what you want for that is what's actually behind here eventually I yeah really now is, is it word. actually here, i'm gonna do this i'm not i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you um oh that's <laughs> i mean there's cool. something I like cool about this I, i'm probably gonna move it um we're here to talk about i'm glad it's christmas uh and and look at all my little <laughs> snacks from my mini bar like I, I take them away and like put them somewhere where i don't have to look at them there's something about being in a hotel that makes me extra like hungry 
and airplanes. I make bad decisions on airplanes. Like, what I eat on an airplane is not. I'm like, why am I eating this thing that doesn't even really resemble an omelet? It's like, you know. Uh, so, we, you what? You, you what? Yeah. <laughs> like you compare. It, like sometimes you you want to you want to experience life like it's your last day on earth, and that's what I really love and appreciate about you. Because it's that's amazing. Like why not yeah, live when like we it's were your last in, day on earth every in, day? <laughs> we were shooting in North Bay, and it's making the most of your your experience, right? Like North Bay, where were we? We were in Sudbury, yeah. <laughs> <Which is, laughs> <laughs> right? I've done that more than once. I got it like backwards. Okay, we were in Sudbury, uh, which and and it was like, do we choose the amazing restaurant for lunch? or dinner, or do we take what's like, you know, sort of what's given to us, which on this particular occasion, wasn't that great. Uh, and I'm like, if, if it's the last day on earth, will I be sad that I went out to respect his burning and had a gorgeous glass of wine and a gorgeous plate of Italian food? No. No. Right? <laughs> yeah. So how's Montreal? Have you found? I have found. Spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm in the old Montreal. So it's like, it's so cold. Like there's snow everywhere. Uh, I went for a walk last night, which I tend to do after I eat, like just to like kind of move blood sugar, you know, like drop blood sugar. It's like a really, it's a, it's a little hack if you eat. And I ate a bit of a last day on earth dinner uh, by myself, which looked like a f fancy dinner. And then I'm like, I should go for a walk. And it, I just yeah. about froze my sense of humor right off. Like, it's cold. I actually went to my very first time in August. So I stayed uh -huh. in the old part as well. But it was very humid and hot. Like, it was ridiculously hot. So I don't even know. But I, I hear it's bone chilling. Yeah. It gets very cold. It's amazing. Yeah, I love it. I just, yeah. I love, I love they're, they're really good restaurants here, but sh shockingly, there's no Michelin star restaurants here. How was your, you had a Michelin, you had a Michelin star dinner last night, didn't you? Ed, it was amazing. Like, I'm still full. I like, I, we did the surprise me special. So the chef prepares everything without nuts, of course, because I'm definitely allergic to nuts, as you know. Um, and it was next level. So it was, I don't even know, like two appetizers, three appetizers, and two pastas, and two mains, and then a dessert. Like it just, the meals, just the dishes just kept coming. It was so delicious. It was so good. And then we were there. We just, we really, it was, I went with my girlfriend and we just soaked in the entire experience. And then we looked at the clock and we're like, it's midnight? Like, how have we been here for four and a half hours? It's just, we were oh, indulging. I love in that dish. when food's <laughs> so good, that time kind of disappears and, how was the how was the wine? I know. Really, yeah, it was amazing. The wine was great. What was it? Yeah. Can you share what it was called? It was awesome. Doesn't matter. Like it to be plugged the rest. It was just listed on like Vancouver released all of these Michelin star restaurants, and then it was mentioned in it like two weeks ago. So now it was crazy and busy. This is how connected we are. I said to you, GAC's here. Hey, I don't know who, who it is, but hi. Uh, hi. Last night I said to you, I'm going to look for a Michelin star restaurant. And you responded, you're like, we're going to a Michelin star restaurant right now. And like, that's the exact same like thing. Basically that sums up our time shooting. I'm glad it's Christmas. It's like, there's so many serendipities and synchronicities with, I don't know, ways of thinking and humor and friends and just so many cool things. It was a real a treat. It was awesome. Like from day one, I felt like I knew you my entire life, which just made it so easy. <laughs> I was like, wait, this is our first dinner? Like we're like first hangout? I was like, I feel like, yeah, literally my whole life. So it's awesome. And it's like friend for life. It's going to be so good. I'm really yes. excited to get into this let's, trivia let's game. That we <laughs> really how yeah, this, 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 we this game is called How Well Do You Know Me? Uh, and it's, I saw Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell do it. Their version's very different from what we're gonna be doing, obviously. This is the bottom of the toilet version. Ours will be family friendly-ish. I mean, feel free. So, so we have five facts. I have written down five facts. I'm not gonna say how many are true, but there are a number of them are true. 
and a number of them are false. Um, so, and then we have some questions in the question and answer thing. I'll give you my first one. Uh, I took a motorcycle trip across Africa. <laughs> um, oh. true, or, true or false? False? False. You are correct. False. False. You. Thing what did, did I? What did I do? That was a giveaway. You did this little head thing at the end, and I was like, "Oh, that was the giveaway." But I love that you don't know what you well, do. Now I know no, what I, not I, to I, do. I, uh, I, can't. I, I took a motorcycle yeah. trip across India, so that was my. It was a trick question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Your turn. Yes. So for you have okay, one so one I, zero. I. I thought this was a game, so I just was going to ask you a question okay, about me and sure. see if you knew the answer. But is it true or false? Is it true or false? So, um, no, it doesn't matter. We can play. Okay. We can play it your way. Let's just play. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I actually did not prepare like <laughs> you. I have nothing written down. <laughs> okay. What was the type of clothing that I lived in while filming in Sudbury and you thought it was the only thing I owned? I mean, well, gym clothes, like you were, you were all, all yes, yes, okay. <laughs> you were, you were, she was 40 <laughs> spice the entire time. And then. It's because, it's because I, I was very proud of myself. I. I heard that the airlines were losing luggage. And so I was like, I'm going to pack everything for an entire month, which is also very hard when you're filming a movie because you need a lot of things. But I'm like, I'm going to pack everything humanly possible into a carry on. And that I was like, you know what, I'm going to set I'm going to just be sporty, you know, and athletic. And but then I realized when we went for dinner, like all I had were lemons <laughs> and sweatpants. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, okay. All right, one more. Yeah, I had, uh, yeah, and I packed like my whole studio and all these clothes for different shows. Yeah, I had, I was, I was the girl in the room. I have way more. I think I, I was, that's very impressive that you had them carry on. I'm like, okay, here's the next one. Next, the next clue, or the next question. I have, true or false, over 65 immediate family members. Um, True. False. Uh huh. Wait, what? No. Immediate. Immediate. Well, my How do we like. Immediate? Not second. Not second. Cousins, First like, cousin. So immediate? my dad's Just... one of seven. My mom. My mom had yeah, three, wow. but two yeah. of the three had twelve. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't know this, but I guess that's what oh. you do when you're on a farm. Oh my right? gosh, I, it's, oh, I, that is such a burn. I kept saying this fun fact that I'm from a farm and, and for, like as my excuse for everything. And just. But he, what I, can I just say, like, I, you didn't even realize you were doing it, but there was like, you had mentioned that you grew up on a farm uh, probably three times a day, at least. Like, and just to random people, like, yeah, well, I grew up on a farm. And then it happened. I grew up on a farm. And then finally, I called you out on it. And then I actually did it on our podcast, but you missed it. You missed it. And I said the joke I twice. Know. I, oh, I know. When I saw the head. podcast back, um, I felt so bad because the look on your face, you're like, because you're from a farm. And you're like, okay. I'm kidding. I don't <laughs> Uh, okay, your turn. So you got that wrong. You, unless we can't define immediate family, like obviously you're like brothers and sisters, but first cousins. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's like that's over sixty-five. 65 right? or over 65. When we have our big family reunions, there was there was over sixty-five people there. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Now we're right. my version of the game. Um. <laughs> Okay, this is a two part question for you. Okay. Um, do I own a neon sign? And if so, oh, that's what easy. is it? It, it? Yeah, it's it's Mickey ears. Yes, you do. And Mickey ears. 
Mickey hands, sorry, Mickey hands. Yes, oh. Mickey hands, like what, just his hands? Like the expression, oh no, no, it's it's not doing a peace sign, is it? It's, it should, it should be doing a peace sign. It's doing, it's doing a sign. Wait, hold on. Wait, what's it doing? Wait, it's, oh, it spells out love. Okay, yes, all right. Okay, Ooh. good, all right, you got it. Sweat, sweating is like, how much do I actually pay attention? Okay. Um, Here's mine. I can fly a helicopter, true or false? You did the look I again. What? False. <laughs> Are you, you a did poker little player? Little look again. What false. is going on? Wait, <laughs> you should play poker. Um, was I right? I was, you're, yeah, I can tell. Like, the whole thing at the end that I know false. is like, it's not. False. I don't fly yeah, helicopters. Yeah, no false. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I, how do I not, I got to remember that. Wait, what's the look? I'm not going to tell you. All right. We're Kelly Belly says false. Joy says airplane. Yeah. Wait, Michigan. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Two, two. We're tied. Uh, your turn. My turn. Oof. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is tricky. I have, I'm trying to stop I have you. a tell. I, I, I played poker. I didn't realize I had a lying tell. That's awful. That's really obvious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. In the morning, what is my caffeinated Americana. choice? Americana. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I pay attention. I, I seem probably really distracted because I'm doing 25 things at once, but I'm very, I'm, I'm very, I pay attention. Yeah. Okay. Um, for those of you joining, okay, Jess and I have a movie premiering tonight. And yeah. Tonight on JC, very, or GAF, um, super, super excited. It premieres at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, it's with Gladys Knight yeah. from Gladys Knight and the Pips, Midnight Georgia. It's it was just insane, and we get to sing with her, which is you know mind blowing. I, I said on a podcast interview the other day, the Pimps, like an idiot. I I knew it later. Like I, I, I didn't <laughs> no. in the moment. I'm like, I didn't say Pimps, did I? And then I heard it back, and I'm like, yeah, I said Pimps. Okay. On Instagram Live, where you call me Jennifer instead of Jessica. I totally Jessica. remember, <laughs> that, remember one. that one. I, I... The one live that I let you you're like tune in, and I'm like, okay, and I tune in, and you're talking Shit. about how wonderful your co star is, which is lovely. And you're like, yeah, Jennifer is just the best. And I'm like, well, you actually Who's look like a, the Jenny, the Jennifer that that turned the but whole you know, yeah, ship so to another continent when I was 18 years old. Um, Oh yeah, oh yeah, shifted, shifted <laughs> okay. my whole world, yeah. uh, J Jenny. Uh, okay, ready? Uh, yes. I sang in an all boys choir when I was young. Yes, with your parents. False, I did not. <laughs> not, what? Okay, you, there, okay, that was a little bit of a trick. I, I said like all singing, boys you choir. Sang. But you had you had your perm when you I were didn't have a choir. perm so when I was happen? singing in a choir. The only time I sang in a choir when I was twenty one in New York City, and it was an all black choir. I was like, may, there was maybe one other white uh, a woman and myself uh, at Times Square Church. But I never sang in choir. I uh, as a as a I was a drummer in church with the my perm days. My perm days were way younger, like yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten. Are for those of you tuning in and you don't <laughs> you don't know he had a perm his mom gave my him mom a perm permed was... anybody she could get her hands on it's the best i mean perms are where it's at i mean i've never had one but like don't give it a okay i'm winning one. this game i'm w i'm winning this game with trick with with that was a tr that was a trick are... question but it was like okay. you knew there was music but like an all boys choir you know i'm not catholic so 
just you threw me for a loop there. I just and I didn't do a face. I was like all boys choir. I know. I wish. Um, is my mom on here? Um, Hi, mom. Mom's probably watching as we're mocking the perms. There's um, a picture on one of my last Insta posts where you see my perm at the very last. Um, so we're, we also have in the wings here, Tegan, we're going to bring her on in, in about 10 minutes. I, st I still want to finish our game. But um, GAC, if you're, or Ruth, could you put the, in the comments the, or in the question, put the t number for people to text if they want to know how to watch our movie tonight. Because it depends what country you're in, there's different ways. So if you're in the US, you can get the app, you can also uh, get it through your cable provider. And it's, uh, so the time, do, do you know the exact time? Because it's different time zones, that always messes me up. Oh, it messes me up too. But it's 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central. I mean, they can, they can correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, there is a phone number. I put it in one of my comment sections, but you text Christmas to that phone number and then they can tell you where to find the channel or where it's streaming, because it's streaming all over. So you can, it's on, I know it'll be also on Hulu and Roku and Friendly TV. Like, there's so many things. Yeah, but and I, I think for like tonight, great. the premiere, oh. it, I think it's exclusively GAC today because when I looked, it's on Hulu like on December 1st. I'm not sure, maybe they can, maybe they can pipe in. Uh, seven seven. Let me see. Can I? Oh, I can't scroll up, or I can. Uh, yeah. So text Christmas to eight seven seven nine nine nine. Yes. Yes. One two. two and you five. Can, yeah, exactly. You can. I think you can even watch it through the app and then stream the app or something. There's different ways to do it. Um, the great American. It's called "I'm Glad It's Christmas." It's very cute. I play an aspiring Broadway singer who meets a jingle writer, and and. <laughs> Gladys Knight brings us together to work that's on a, a secret project and together. that's right remember we were like is she an great. angel when we were thinking uh, there was a couple of moments where like she's definitely there's something angel like about her she just appears out of nowhere and she is magical of like she has yeah. this magical quality to her yeah um yeah okay. I gotta say when my I agent told me that right? The, my character breakdown that I was a uh, uh, undercover Santa and a jingo writer. I was like, I was like, it's like, squeeze me, <laughs> squeeze me, baking soda. What? What? Like, I'm gonna be wearing a Santa suit. And then I read the script and I was like, oh, this is really cute. Like my, my character, my character, instead of being angry that there was no Santa kids, sorry, Tegan, anybody younger, there is a Santa at the lead, but when I was young, I was told there was a Santa. My character, when he found out that Santa, I, 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 there's no way out of this. Um, if you're watching and you believe in Santa, really? don't let not, the dream die. Not, what? Not, yeah, that's great. Not to interrupt. I just saw, so for Canadians, CTV, the movie will be airing this Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern. That's exciting news. We love great. that. We love when it oh, comes to Canada. Oh, that's amazing. I thought, I thought it would either be on like Super Channel or the W Network, but it's on CTV. That's that's amazing. Sh shout know, out to our that. awesome producers, um, Brad Carroy. They, those guys get. I have people. I'm sure you have people in every country, like Iran and all over the world, that like they they watch the movie in their language. And have you ever had the person who dubs your voice reach out to you and say, "It's such a pleasure to do your voice, but I'm your like Dutch version of you." Have you ever had that? No, they haven't reached out, but I wish now I'm wishing that they have. Like, that's awesome. I've seen it. So my my French voice and oh, and also the Spanish voice. It's very low <laughs> for some of the movies that I've done. And it's like, como so? And I'm like, what, why? Like, why that voice? Like, how, like, like, it's so funny. So, yeah, I don't know. At least at least when I was there and it was on TV, which I thought was so cool. And the episodes of 9210 and different Hallmark films, like you tune it on in a different country, you're like, this yep. is, this is awesome. Yeah, no, we didn't. Yeah, so no, my, the Italian Paul your... reached out to me and he's like, it's so fun to do your voice because I speak in such weird rhythm. Like, I speak exactly this way in my character. When I try to dub my own voice in ADR, it's tricky. I have so many, you, you're the same. I'm the same. That's why we work so well because like we talk in weird rhythms and like, my ADR system, there was this one line at the end, like I was flying through all of it. And then the very end, I was like, 
why did I speak like this? I say the first part of the sentence really fast and then I slow down and then I like say it again and I break and then I make an um sound. I'm like, I'm the same. Why? I'm the same. Why? I make it so hard <laughs> on myself to match, uh, but it's fun. It's just the way, it's just the way I talk anyway. Uh, our, we have a Swedish fan on here and they're like, you're not dubbed in Sweden, which is, that's cool. Um, I love when you go to Scandinavian countries, they all speak English. And, and I've heard the theory that it's because they don't do subtitles. Yeah. Interesting, I didn't know that. Oh, I have a question. Is there, there is. a kiss between you two in the movie? Oh, I was gonna say well, it's, highly, to it's highly choreographed. <laughs> I was sending her videos. I'm like, okay, so we can wing it or we can like look at the best kisses of all time and we can sort of how to do the best movie yeah, kiss like research time, so. what works and what doesn't because yeah. it's so technical like you do you, you you know and ron oliver taught me you put your lips together and you sort of slowly spin and then the camera goes the other way and it's like an old film noir trick so the whole room starts to spin there's all these tricks yeah, uh, yeah. okay next you got the next yeah. question or is it me it's you uh i think it's three to two three to two like what what's the yeah, I'm up by Are one. Sure? You've only got you got one wrong. Four to two. No, <laughs> I got luck. two. It's pretty. It's. I got. Got the all boy choir one wrong, and I got the sixty-five members oh. of your media. Oh man, and you're probably. Yeah. I think you're going to get this next one wrong. So I've asked four. You have. You got. You got. You have two more to ask. I got. I got one more to ask. You could still tie it. Okay. Cool. Can't, can't win. All right. Let's Okay, well, this is what? hard. Um, I'm actually gonna. Okay, what are my two favorite scenes? Ever? <laughs> Wait, of what? No, no, no from the oh, movie. Oh man. Okay. okay. From our movie. <laughs> what are the, my two favorite scenes? How am I supposed to know? Okay, I think I. I don't know. Maybe we talked about it, but I don't know. Like I. Yeah. My two favorite scenes. Okay, scenes definitely when we're sitting with Christmas. the guitar, I think, and like working through that song. Okay, then then you tell yeah. me the two. I have no idea. The last scene. Oh, the last scene because it's like an 18 pager. Yes. So the very last scene because it's shot like a play, right? That is one of the I mean you 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 got it wrong. But yeah, like so one of them would be this the <laughs> one of them was I consider the end of the movie all one scene because that's how we shot it. We put the singing scene and then all the rest of the ending of the movie together, which was like three scenes. So I'm proud of that because that was hard as an actress. And we'd also wrote a bunch of scenes in and one of the scenes was the end scene. And I just, I love it. It's so romantic and it pulls on my heartstrings because it's very cute. So I love that, like the whole finale, like the song all the way until the end. So that's like my, I'm gonna consider that one scene. And then I really love this scene where we go out on a date, but not a date, and we're drinking wine and we're in the restaurant. Like, that's just, I don't know. There's, I like, I thought it would be the pretzel scene, but it, it was a toss up, you know, like in the edit, I actually, I really like that scene because I just feel like it just sets the tone for the entire movie. And it's so, you can tell that we're both fighting feelings and then, but we're trying to lay it out on the table and then I'm, yeah, there's yeah, just, you can feel all the feels in that one. It kind of, it, it works. And in the moment first, shooting you know? it, too, it was, felt really good, felt really like funny and, and like, like fun behind the scenes fact, Jess and I were fighting, a, 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 fighting, trying to stop ourselves from, from laughing on so, we were on so many takes where we're like had to pull it together, get together, get together, and then do the line, and then and it happens so often, which cracks me up. I love that. Oh, really hard. Yeah, and then yeah, that one was definitely hard. And then it was also challenging because sometimes we like while we were working, we had we had a it was awesome. We had an amazing body double for Gladys, and and, and her name is Diane. And she's wonderful. Um, but there were some times when the camera flipped around, we were working with like the corner of a chair or the body double. And so to make that 
believable you know like it was that was challenging but it was awesome but there's that one scene where we're in Gladys's office or Cora Lawson's office and we both just got the giggles and we cracked up and then I I don't know what was happening like my stomach was growling and it was the loudest growl <laughs> in the history <laughs> of stomach growls <laughs> It's true. It was unnaturally loud, your your stomach grumble. It was like, I don't even know. It was like, I sounded like a bear in hibernation. Like, I was like, what is happening? I, I, I was in the middle of the scene. You could hear a pin drop, and then you hear, yeah. <laughs> and then I lost it after that. And I was like, but at that, I told you that line. I was like, hey, no, I have to pull this together because that line is going to be in and the trailer. And, and so it was mine. Was. I was you like, nailed mine, too best christmas ever i know you 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 nailed both of those oh that would have been a fun trivia question for our fans so we have about if we have you have one more i have one more here's here's a question i went to college on a scholarship oh my god well, you just right. you just that's did a right space thing so god, hold on. let me think about this Honestly, i feel like <laughs> I feel like there's like half truths to all these, but then I'm not okay. Let me think. I did. No. Yeah. Oh no! Are you joking? No, I because all y'all. These are it was it was a volleyball really scholarship. This is. Yeah. That's right. But then you became a male I, model. I left so college after six dropped. months. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I got I got discovered I and sent around the world as a. Yeah. Uh, so it's the half truth is I didn't finish college. Okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah, so I for, got sure, that. for sure you got I it. Got it right. uh, officially, I don't think there's a way for you to come back, but you have one more. And then we're gonna bring in, we're gonna bring in Tegan and do her questions. We're gonna have three fun facts about Tegan. And then I quickly, yeah. do you have time? I want to take these questions. There's, how, do you have a cup? Do you have a little Bye. bit of time? I do have some time. And um, Dave just joined the chat and he's the incredible writer and producer of the finale song with Gladys. He is unbelievable. Hi, so Dave. Yeah, and we have Dave. about Hi, seven Dave. questions in the Q&A there. So if anybody has a question, throw it in there. Why don't we bring in Tegan? Mm -hmm. Ask me your last one. Let me see if I get it. My last this is, this okay. is um, like how, you. if if you're up for a laugh, Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell did this for Spirited on, I don't think it's too crass. I only watched a part of it. It's pretty funny. Uh, very crass. Mom, don't watch it, but it's good. Yeah, and there's so many caveats for mom, like Letter <laughs> Kenny. I'm like, mom won't watch it, but it's funny. That's so funny. Yeah, I got, to, I got to chat with your mama, like night that one on the phone, remember? She was like, she on speakerphone? That's right. Like, Did she like Hi, pray? Mama. She probably prayed on the phone. My mom was always praying on the phone. She's like, Anytime I'm traveling, you. she she um, she breaks out the the prayer. <laughs> That's so so cute. Um, okay, okay, this is hard. Um, what? All right, trivia. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. What was our first scene that we filmed together in this movie? And where? Oh man, that is hard. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First, oh, I mean, I'm totally blanking. Hold on, hold on. You remember? Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> you don't know. You You're like, I have no idea. I just wonder if you do. Um, okay, okay. Let me just think of the movie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I know. It's our meet, meet cute. Oh. No. Eh, wrong. Wrong. Um, our first scene that we, I guess, well, d hold on. Is there, yeah, I don't know if you count this. We are a part of the same scene, but we're not talking to each other. So there's the trick question. It's at, <laughs> it's at. I'm Zuzu's not even in your salon. scene. I never see you. No, but you're in the scene. On the matter it's it's that like serendipitous moment but that's the first scene see. that we filmed we're not together. together you did yes you were there i bought my place over facetime we were 
were there okay. and I was like buying okay. my home over FaceTime okay, I'll and then to you. And, I come in, and then I leave and then you come in and have the okay. last line in the What was our last so we scene we filmed together? <laughs> um, okay. Well, uh, well, it would be the the last thing we actually filmed together was all of the the GAF commercials and interviews. Can can confirm, Tyler with, Barry Hewitt. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. Appreciate can it. I miss confirm. your harmonies, Tyler. Yeah. Okay. So that was the last thing we actually filmed together, and then. What was the last, oh, this, is, this is another trick question. I'm just gonna ask you one more, just cause I think I should yeah, get a yeah. bonus cause I'm so far behind. What was the last, the last thing we ate on set? Bonds? Oh, oh, easy, easy, uh, dilly bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got dilly, dilly, dilly bars. My mom used to get dilly bars when we were kids for like kids on our bus and Sunday school bus and stuff. but. So I have this kind of weird affection for them because of mom, she's on here. We got Dilly Bars as a little rap moment gift for everyone. Yeah, I, I love that because it's like, I I just love, I think everyone just loves ice cream. I mean, I do. And they have vegan options. Like, I'm not a spokesperson for yeah. Dairy Queen, but yeah. I, no, like, I'm obsessed. That, you have like the the coco like coconut bar, option. Yeah, for regular. sure. Um, by the way, you have 90210 fans on here. I love your 90210 story so much. If you guys don't know it, we won't go into it here, but check out the podcast that Jess and I did. It's it's either on my YouTube channel, Paul Green Official, or The Grass is Greener with Paul Green as a podcast, and she shares. It is such a cool story of, uh, I didn't know it. I mean, I knew like a little tiny bit of it, but it, the way you, you know, your little CD on the plane, it's such a great story. I love it. Let's bring on little Tegan. Um, and Tegan, we're going to bring you on for like 10 yes, minutes Tegan. and then Jess and I are going to field these questions at the end. So I, did you request to come on, little T? Little T? You didn't. Okay, I got to find you, which might be tricky. Let's see. Uh, Tegan, do you know how to request? Let me see here. Search. Oh, I can do it. Here we go. Invite. I just did it. Yay. Um, I can't believe this is your first one of these, Jess. I don't know how to do any of this. I have a oh, tutorial. Oh my goodness. Hold on. It's like I'm really good. How are you guys? I miss you guys. So much. I, I wish you guys were here. I know. We're just gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to Where? Put that out there. Um I love them wearing the exact same color blue. I so didn't even coordinate this. It is so cool. Um, first off, you are amazing you. in this movie. You were so talented. You were so in the moment. You're so gifted. And I was so impressed with you the entire time. Yeah. And then we just became besties off camera. And it was just like an instant, an instant connection. And I'm just so excited for everybody to see you shine. You're just so, so, so talented. Yeah. One of my favorite people ever. So, yeah. Do you want to talk um, about your character? Sure. Uh, Angela, she, um, I think, yeah, I think she, she loves Chloe, I think. Yeah, like. She does love Chloe. Yeah. So you play, um, you play yeah. Yeah, Paul's daughter. And, and, and I think what was your favorite scene, I, I mean, I know what my favorite scene was that we had together. What's Definitely the cookie, that? cookie scene. Yeah, the cookie scene was so fun. I just love cookies in general, so that was like awesome. Um, and it, that was actually really great because I feel like a lot of people don't know when you're filming a Christmas movie and it's very warm out, like especially the first couple scenes that I shot here in, my, in our character's house, I had so many layers on and I was in a basement and they turn off the AC and it was so hot down there. Tyler can probably that in the comments as well. Um, so hot. But what I liked about our kitchen scene is like there was some kind of air conditioning going on in that scene, and that was like awesome. Like the room was nice and cold and awesome, and it wasn't as crazy as the yeah. other room. I also think we won't rank as many layers, <laughs> but like, yeah, we got to take some layers off. We had cute matching aprons, which I 
Like they're different yeah. color neighborhoods. But you, you guys, she played my daughter, yeah. and and you were you were. I I just loved. You know what you brought to it. You brought a lot of really fun, bright, quirky, fat. Like you you found the tone really well. Like in these romantic comedies, especially Christmas, but most of them, there there's a certain tone to them which is very uh, always. It's almost like a sitcom. Like it's up, and you got you got that tone uh, right away and you gave so many fun quirky options it was a, it was a real pleasure to work with you how long have you been acting for um i think since it was like one or two something like that one, like or, one two. or two wow okay we have a veteran on our hands this is awesome and then can we talk about one of your projects that i'm so impressed by can we talk oh about the thing i'm sure <laughs> Yeah, so she, uh, did you write it as well? You had a short film yeah. and you directed it, right? I just like, I'm so blown away. I'm that you, like, how old are you? I actually know the Yeah, 13. Like, that is so impressive. Um, yeah, this is just the beginning. It's, it's going to just go from there. So, um, yeah, we had an absolute blast. We had a great time. At the end, it was so hard to say goodbye. Like, we were there. Yeah, this this movie was so special for that reason. Like I, I like I can't even explain. Every person involved was just amazing, and I loved. Like I just like I fell in love with everybody, and it was just so. It was so hard to say goodbye. Like I just wish you <laughs> right down the street, so I could see you. Yeah. Um, the, Tegan, so yeah. let's do your. Do you have uh, any trivia for us? Yeah, I wrote them down. Like you did. All right. Yeah. All right, get, hit a hit a. Let's see how okay. how well we know you. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, my first one is, I was deaf one year until I was four. I was deaf in one ear. Sorry, till I was four. I feel like it's a trick question, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go true. I. I'm gonna go. It was true. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then it came back when you're there. You love that. That's like a, yeah. that's a good ending to the story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next um, one. I have two dogs. Ooh. I'm gonna say that's one. One dog. False. I think one dog. You have one dog. I have one dog. Is yes. <laughs> One. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. okay we, we paid attention. We paid attention. Okay. Are you ready for the second one? Yes. A oh, third. Sorry. Oh my God. Sorry. Oh, we are. Um. Okay. I started to learn flying this. trapeze when I was two years old. That's a little young, but it seems like a trick. Oh, I mean, out there, but I'm gonna say false. How do you because... hold? How do you hold on it? <laughs> I mean. I'm going to say true I, just because I, I, it's I opposite. Know, man. Um, huh? I'm gonna okay, so it was true. It, it's true, yeah. So. Okay. A woman with many talents and good job, Paul. That was, I mean, it was so out there. Like They kind of like just, my parents, amazing. they just threw me on the so They were like, go. Because they do it. Like, they do it. Um, My parents, that's how they met, I think. Yeah, they your parents met doing flying trapeze? I think so, yeah. Yes. What? Dude, is this my next movie I need to write? I think so. Do you guys like to see a movie about people falling in love with I love it. Paul, yes. do you want to be I the just, poster? I'll just say yes. <laughs> That's so awesome. My dad was the catcher. Okay. And my mom was the person, like, going to him. Right. So that's how they met. with that story that needs to be they a movie. In, I've never they seen it in the air. <laughs> <laughs> that's how Paula wrote in the comments. I love that. Oh that's so cool. Wait, do you, do you have a do you have another trivia one for us? I think yeah I have two more. Okay, hit it. Okay. I speak French. Yes. True. Yeah. Yeah okay. Yes, yeah. I mean 
Canadian. Like we have to learn it in school. It's part of the, like, I, I mean, I couldn't recall much French. Like I, I really realized also like when I'm in Montreal or, or Paris, like I, I think that I know a lot more than I do. And then I get there and I'm like, I really commit to it. I'm like, bonjour, comment ça va? And the men, ooh. And I do the same thing in Italy too. It's like, bonjour. I love that Tyler said, take right. him, confirm. Um, that's, a, that's a letter Kenny thing. Uh, so last one, what do you got? Hi, I am the youngest in my family. Mm, false. False. You, you can't <laughs> copy me, false. You're copying me. You're I, copying me. I, you have a younger brother who is, you said the cutest, and then he copies you. Yeah, you have a younger brother and he like copies you. you. <laughs> yeah. <they're... laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, I listen. I pay attention. Good to know. <laughs> well, um, that's. You know what my favorite memories we had? was when we left, I mean, we actually did this a couple times. We left set to go grab lunch. And do you remember the sandwich you ordered? With all the rainbow, of, like the rainbow yes. sandwich? I had never seen anything like it in my life. It was grilled cheese, but it was every color of the rainbow. And like, as you pulled it apart, I was like, this is my, I've never seen it this before. It was amazing. It was so it was great. great. It was awesome. Yeah. Keep your Oh yeah, that, I remember <laughs> looking at it going, how can somebody actually put that in their body? <laughs> well, it was, just, the, it was food coloring. Certain, certainly, yeah, it's a hard, it hard pass for me. <laughs> yes, your favorite scene was the cookie scene. What other, what other scenes um, do you love in this movie? Yeah, what are people going to, what are what people going to love about this movie? You answer Jess first and then I got one for you. Okay. Um, I think, like, sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> Sorry, we're throwing everything at you. Um, okay, so what was your like other than the cookie scene? What was one of your other than the cookie scene? Shoot? What was my favorite thing to shoot? Um, I think the one where I was singing with Miss Gladys Knight. It was amazing. Yeah, that was that was so good. And how how crazy is it that this we got? To sing it's with it's her? so cool like, that we got to meet her. Like. Yeah, that was, that was definitely, a highlight. we got to sing Joy to the World, and she, she also improvised quite a bit as well, and I felt like I was actually getting a singing lesson from her at one point. She's my characters, you know, like, at that point, doubting herself, and, like, she comes over, and she, like, gives me a pep talk, and I feel it from her. There were moments where I had goosebumps, and I'm like, wow, it was very powerful, and it was coming from her heart, because a lot of it was off book it just came from her brain and it was just yeah and genius. you can tell a lot awesome. of her advice was actually from her life like she was like well you got, like she or it's like she was giving you advice at, like as a person from her singing uh, experience that she's had and, and yeah like there'd be scenes where yeah my character wanting to give up and then she would just throw me like, all of this encouragement and it was just so cool to hear. It's like, wow. Like, yeah, obviously, maybe she shared her life or she shared yeah. her before. And, yeah, amazing, amazing. And this was such a gift. Like, I am just so happy and like part of it. And I am so happy that I met it. That also was just made the experience just so incredible. We had so much fun. We like hung out a lot outside we did. Set, which was really fun. And yeah, and then, and we had no time, but we just made time because yeah. we really liked We it literally made together. time. Yeah, we went to one Italian restaurant and we had so little time to, to get our food that we ended up ordering it to go and then getting back. And of course, having time, we could have stayed and ate it. But we remember we, we got there and the poor server were like, can you get this out in seven minutes? <laughs> and then we ended up having like 70 when we got back. Um, so I have one more, I have one question for you, Tegan, and then we're going to let you go. We're going to take some questions from uh, from the question pocket here. Uh, what is it called? I don't know, the question, the bin? The what do you call it? Huh? Q the Q&A? Yeah, but it's like, what would you call the section that it's oh, in? Oh, the Dropbox? I don't know, no, let's go with that. It's better than bin. I, like, 
the, the Q and A <laughs> column. I don't know. Our Q and A column. Section, Where's, I, I don't section, know. About pocket. Maybe section. No. Pocket. Yeah. Like the <laughs> so this is your first yeah. time doing one of these type of movies, right, Tegan? Yeah. Yeah. What 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 surprised you the most about like being on set, other than Tyler singing voice? <laughs> Tyler is, is a part of our crew and unbelievable. Like he just walked by and started singing Adele. <laughs> You're just like, whoa, where did that voice come from? I don't know if he's still on this, on this but <laughs> he's um, awesome. I think the thing that most surprised me um, being on, like just from being on the set was the amount of friends I made on this, <laughs> even though like none of you guys are close to my age. Yeah. And it, it was like, it was so fun though. Like, and it just, it, it's just, I just grew family. And like, I, it was really hard to say goodbye to all, everyone. But like, yeah. I know you made us the most amazing gift, which by the way, today, I feel like I'm a part of the movie. I'm going to a tree farm and I'm getting a real Christmas tree, which usually I haven't had my own real Christmas tree. And because I usually have all fly back for the holidays that I have my new place and so I'm getting a tree and I'm gonna hang your ornament on it. So and you made us all these ornaments that said the the I mean the original title, but it was like our cute and like it's just it's so I'm special. So Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we had so much fun getting to know you. One of the comments just said Paul is 13 and his personality. I think that she maybe meant in my maturity maybe, but um, <laughs> You have a youthful exuberance, which is contagious. And it's like, you, you have that same thing that I like, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like you, you don't want to ever lose that, like that curiosity and a sense of adventure. And yeah, you, I think that's yeah. admirable. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. Forever. You have a yeah. lot. You have a lot of it. You were a yes for so many things. Like you both, you both were. I was always planning our next meal. I was like, okay. So, so this is what we're going to do for food. And you guys were always on board. So I loved it. Go to the grocery store and then give, like, you give it to service. And the snacks were the most gourmet snacks on the planet where I was like, okay, for today's appetizer, we have beets with a side of goat cheese with real asparagus. I'm like, this is insane. And it was so and then you'd go wagyu beef and the steak. And we got wagyu, I got us a wagyu steak and had the, our craft service make it for us in a certain way. And then I had all of our own salt and peppers and seasonings. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. it. Do you remember the tomato that you got just to try with the pepper and the salt and the little, like, um, I forget what it was, but Basil. Like, you put this little leaf on top of it. Basil. You his own salt, pepper, spices, onions, whatever it was, and parsley. I don't know. He just had a whole kit that you bring with you everywhere. And it was just the I blame you, you know? It's like last yeah. year's vibes. Yeah, especially about. with foods like spirituality for me. It's like a, I wouldn't say religion because I'm not dogmatic, but it's it's food is not just medicine, but I get so much like enjoyment from food that I'm not going to cut a corner and just have a piece of whatever, like just for, like, I, I like it to be really good. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Tegan. I'm going to, we're going to let you go. And thanks to your mom and dad. I think we hear them in the wings there. I think I heard them. They're like, that. Yeah, we were, we were trapeze. We, we met uh, to, like uh, Christmas at the, what would it be? Where it, Christmas at the gymnasium. Yeah. <laughs> They're both like standing uh, right there, and I just like. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah you're like, they're they're your peanut gallery, and your mom was in the movie, which uh, is a fun fact. That is a fun fact, yes. Yeah, yeah. your mom plays your mom. Just so super, super <laughs> fun. All right, well, we're gonna let you go, and then we're gonna field yeah. these last few questions, and then let everyone go. So, how do I how do I say goodbye to you? Hold on. Do you see an end? Do you see an end button on yours? Um. Like a little tiny X. Oh, yeah, okay. If you clap, X. it should just shut it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Okay, so bye. Thanks, sweetheart. And I'm excited oh, to see you in the movie tonight.
Yeah. I'm not going to see it tonight, but I will see it on Monday. So yeah, Monday. Cool. Thank well, you guys so much. I, I, bye. 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 Our, our next question. That was so fun. She was so much fun. Uh, she's she, the best. I, I know. Love her. You guys had I such a special, song. special, special bond. Um, which which happens. It was serious camp vibes at the end. We're like achy, breaky hearts. We're like, oh, just like sick. We're like, I don't want to leave these people. Yeah, Greta, who plays my best girlfriend in this movie, she's she was also lovely. And like, there were a couple mornings that we'd go and do workouts super early before set. That was also insane. I brought you to those those circuit classes. Where I think you guys had a love hate relationship with it. So there's this like boot camp, like the military. Oh, and we're gonna go do it yeah. at five in the morning. It was it was challenging. <laughs> it was challenging. So I'm gonna. I just got a question. I am gonna be live tweeting tonight. I don't know if you're gonna yeah, be able to do that in Montreal, but I'm gonna. Um, and then also Corey just joined the the chat. I'm not sure if Aaron's here, but. He, um, we we did two other songs that came out tonight or last night at midnight, and they're in the movie. So snow bells and it's Christmas. So I put those out. I'm really really excited. You hear my character sing them throughout the film, and you can find them anywhere you stream Wait, music. So I'm really really excited. How did you really not excited. mention this in the podcast? Um, I would have put like a link. I can still go back in the show notes of the podcast and put it in there. I no, I I dropped the ball there. I realized after the fact. I was like, wait, we just got so caught up with. Because we hadn't spoken since filming. I was like, we have so much to talk about that it, that just went over my head. So yeah, we should definitely put a link because those songs are awesome and they're fun. So again, they're called, uh, the first one is called It's Christmas. And it's just a fun, upbeat Christmas song. And then the other one's called Snowbells, um, which is also beautiful. And Corey, so, is Corey the producer now yeah, that you were I'm, telling me about? Yeah, <clears throat> Corey and Aaron, those are my boys. We did everything. Together, my yeah. elemental album and it's just been and my movie harmony from the heart like the one that i wrote we did all the music for that and i played a music therapist so there was a nice. ton of music nice. so i can't wait to meet those yeah. guys i want to make some music with them they're so good i might be active to do the intro you need to make music with them and then we also I, need to do a duet I agree. and we got to practice for so. christmas con which is coming up soon Yes. Yes, we're performing together and we have a concert. So we're going to be in New Jersey. And this is my first convention ever. So I'm really, really excited. Um, so yeah, I'm, we're there December That's 9th right. to 11th. And, the and then the concert is right. the night of the 9th. Yeah. And I think we're going to do yeah. other impromptu performances. But I love to sing together. And, and I can't wait to get up on stage. It's his show. And I'm just going to hop up at the end and join in for a few crowd pleasers. Yeah. It's going to be good. We still have to decide our set list. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe we ask, maybe we ask. That's a good idea. And, and you were, I, I mentioned the little drummer boy and you're like PTSD hardcore. Cause it was, it was like, it, yeah. That's the song we That's met true. singing. We, we did a, a Hallmark holiday special and our duet was drummer boy, but we sang the really like, challenging crazy version and i'm like i actually had thought of another like we could do like a little medley like of silent night into like silver bells like we should do like at least three we should what we could work on if because we if we ever find the time we gotta actually work on it is do like a, a couple christmas carols that kind of merge into each other almost like that christmas song that has chestnuts roasting on open fire and goes into um the, that other song you know what i mean yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shallow. That, yeah. Someone says we should do shallow. We should. That's Paula. We should. That's Paula. That we should do shallow. Awesome. And for sure, You Are My Sunshine. For sure, Mary, Did You Know. So those are the three. I think those are like the three. And, and I know. I like got to figure out the chords. Is one. Dave on? Dave, I need, I need simple chords for the song because it's like, I know that part that I learned for our scene, but it's, it's, he wrote it. It's not the easiest song to play and on guitar. Okay. Is there a way we can like, yeah. are we going to use the looping pedal? Okay, good. I'm here for it. I'm like, I need a new tutorial for those of you just joining and that didn't see the live that we did in Sudbury. Paul had a concert. I, 
I initially was just supposed to be like, hey, could I come up and sing happy birthday to my sister? And FaceTime her in, and that's what we did. And then it turned into all of a sudden us singing all of these songs that I had never sung before, ever. Like, I've never sung Shallow even out loud. Are you serious? Like, I did to myself. <laughs> that was the first time I ever sang it. I have never. I've... Well, that, that just speaks to your talent. Whoa. Though, because you did such a, you, it's on my uh, YouTube channel. You can find it. It's from Love, live from Sudbury. Uh, I think we got, we should so do that one. That was Paula and requested awesome. that. I think we should definitely do that one. Um, okay, so there's the, well, that was one of our first questions in here is how did you guys, what did you guys, when was the first time you sang with Jessica Paul? And for you all tuning in, uh, our movie's on tonight on GAF. Um, and if you want to know how to find it, you can go to paulgreen.com and then under acting, under acting is this movie and all the ways that you can join it are there. Uh, thanks to Bettina. That's there. Um, the first place we sang was, what was that thing called? What was the, the event oh, called that? that we first sang together? Oh, it was... Right. It was uh, like at Lacey was Chabert's house. Or something like that. Yeah, it was a Lacey Chabert <laughs> house, but it was good. Um, where, yeah, we were singing, and it was a Christmas special. Um... And that was actually the first time I met our EP, Brad Kuvoy, which has just been like, I'd never actually met him in person before. So backstage is the first time I met him. And I recently just started screenwriting and I just had my first movie that I wrote air on Hallmark. It was called Over in Love. And I was like, yeah, I write, I love writing. And then I sent him a bunch of scripts and that's what even burst that whole relationship of of making these movies with him. And, and then we shot Harmony from the Heart and a couple mm -hmm. others in the pipeline. So that was really cool. Um, that was 2019, the Christmas, yeah. right yeah. before the world shut down. So before like, we had yeah. no idea, but that was the first time we ever met yeah. and together. And then we, yeah, there was like a end yeah. of you saying, let's do a film here together. And, and here we are. And that performance is actually on my website too, under that same tab, right? on the under acting uh right under this movie you can see um that that first performance and you can watch me suffer through uh suffer through a special i was like i was such a fish out of water you would never um, know you and we're using the stuff, hashtag so. tweeting tonight i'm glad it's christmas a uh, gac or gaf uh, it's confusing g they, that's the hash they just put the thing there maybe i could pin this can i pin this I see. And then just so you guys know, if you're having trouble finding it or you're not sure how to get Great American Family um, or where to stream it, you can. How do I... ways out there. I just pinned their comment. We're okay, good. cool. Um, yeah, and the, the comment says the number they can text Christmas to right there. Okay. Next okay, question. Awesome. So that was Perfect. The, uh, Great. Who He's forgot fine. their lines the most? This is from Bettina in Germany. Who forgot their lines the most and which scene caused the most laughter as a result? I mean, I don't remember too. I think we both forgot them a lot in the last scene because we rearranged. So we like, we, we have, to, so as an actor, you have to take words and if they're not coming out properly or you're forgetting them, it's usually because your character wouldn't say them. You can kind of force a square through a round hole, but it's, it's better to sort of re restructure a scene so that it flows and you feel like, oh, I'm in my groove here, right? Would you agree? Yes, yeah, for sure. And I think we um, we did that a lot. We, we were able to rework some of the scenes and, and rewrite some parts and just really. I, I think you're muted now. What happened? Did I mute you? Did I somehow, I turned off, oh, did, you okay? You're back, good. You're there. I'm back. Um, let me, one second. My, my thing's like acting weird all of a sudden and I keep getting a call on the other side. So let's yeah. just, we can do this really fast. I do have to go we, here. Really we can. Um, but yeah, the one, I, one of the, <laughs> one of my favorite scenes, I, it was so hard when you were in the Santa suit, all of a sudden you kind of took on this like shrugging your and you would walk differently and you would talk differently and that to me was the funniest thing on earth because you just like it's like don't be santa don't be santa like, hi 
and you're scuffing your feet. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> and then there was one take that didn't make the movie, but like as an improv thing, you were eating a candy cane yeah. and I took it from you and started eating. And I was like, you just looked at me and yeah. like, my candy cane. And we just met. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Uh, our characters yeah well if you gotta go we can i can let me just have a quick peek i turned off comments because they were all over your face and you couldn't see your face i don't know what happened it kind of jumped up uh paul you okay. <laughs> how excited uh where can we watch this movie okay cool we just awesome. we shared all that um yeah we can watch it yeah on great american family um yep. there's a number in the comment section of to where you text Christmas to that number and they'll be able to show you all the places you can view it and where you can stream it. Cause I know it's on Hulu as well and Roku and friendly TV where you can even yeah. subscribe for, yeah. I think it's like five Yeah, If you're for right? sure, if you're out of the country and you, can't see, and you really want to watch it, I think if, um, and then they were saying that it's on Cox, there's a channel that's on Cox. So there's a lot of options. Get the app. The app has a lot of, the app has a lot of behind the scenes and stuff from us too on there. Yeah, CTV, 7 p.m. Yeah. in Canada. So that's awesome. But it was so Me much too. fun. I'm so glad we did this. We get to do it more often. And just, this is so fun. I, I'm now officially, like, I've done now an Instagram Live. I did one when I released my first single on Elemental. I was on the beach, and it was so hard. I thought it would be, like, cool to have, like, a bonfire going when the fire single was released. But I was so distracted by trying to build a fire and people walking by and the sound of the ocean. This is like a yeah. better set because we can actually talk. Yeah, I want, I'm so, I'm so I, I want people to uh, find the songs that are in the movie. So how do they find the songs there? Just on your Spotify or where are they? Uh, yeah, so my songs are everywhere. Like anywhere you stream music, you can find Snowbells and It's Christmas. Those are two of my songs that are in the movie. And then my character sings in all of yeah. her audition scenes. So that was really fun. And yeah. about last night at midnight. Um, and then, yeah, and then when you tune in, you hear our song, Christmas Feels Like Falling in Love, that we performed with Gladys Knight. And TBD, whether or not we're, like, that comes out. But hopefully, hopefully it's it also on so your Instagram, great. the full version of that song. And it's on YouTube, the full version. And you can yeah. hear it over and over again. I know a lot of people are like... Uh, 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 it's a really catchy song. It's, someone said it's on Peacock. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Okay, awesome. Well, this was so fun. I'm gonna have to jet. Yeah. This was an amazing hour. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm so happy that we were able to bring Tegan on for a little bit of this. And I'm just so excited for everyone to see this movie. I had a blast shooting it. I hope that you smile the entire time while watching it and 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 enjoy everything because it was just. Yeah, yes. such a Th gift. Thanks so for stopping ways. by, Jess. So, it's fun to yeah. do all that trivia uh, with you. And, uh, okay. yeah. That was. Right. We'll see you later. That. That was Bye, everybody. Bye.